As many of you requested in my previous acne video, I'm going to share affordable and effective ways to fade post acne marks at the comfort of your own home. As you can tell, I used to have pretty severe adult acne, and today, my skin is doing so much better. I only get a few hormonal acne occasionally, and I also have far less post acne marks thanks to changes in my lifestyle and wonderful skincare products that I've been using. So in this video, I'm going to talk about different types of post acne marks, common treatment options, Options to target different acne marks. Lastly, some wonderful products that I use to fade these marks at home without breaking the bank. Now, let's get started. I'm not a licensed dermatologist or a doctor, and everything I'll talk about is based on my own personal experience. So please consult with medical professionals for proper treatment plans. Now first, let's break down different types of post-acne marks because it's important to understand the differences in order to treat them effectively. So very simply put, there's acne scars and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, aka PIH. Their roots are the same, which is acne, but they are technically two different concerns. Acne scars are caused by either a loss of tissue, causing a pitted or depressed area, or an overgrowth of tissue, leaving a raised scar. On the other hand, Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, PIH marks, are flat and simply darker than the surrounding skin. While PIH can usually fade away on its own over time, acne scars are usually more stubborn and may require more than a single session or a single method of treatment to treat. And if the depressions are too deep, then you may not be able to treat them completely at home and may need medical procedures. And usually, professional dermatologists try to clear active acne first because new breakouts will likely lead to new acne marks and slow down the treatments. So it's important that you understand your current skin condition first and see if you're ready for scars and PIH treatments. And if you want to know how I managed to clear my acne naturally without any medication, I'll link that video here, so feel free to check it out. Now, let's talk about different treatment options for acne marks. For acne scars with texture, here are some common treatment options. First, there's topical treatments. There are over-the-counter creams or gels containing ingredients such as retinoids, vitamin C, AHAs, or BHAs that can help reduce the appearance of mild acne scars by promoting skin cell turnover and collagen production. Then, there's professional treatments such as chemical pills, microdermal abrasion, or fractional laser therapy to use either chemical solution or medical device to exfoliate the top layers of your skin to help fade appearance of acne scars and reveal smoother skin underneath. There's also microneedling treatment that uses tiny needles to create micro injuries in the skin to stimulate collagen production to improve the appearance of acne scars. Lastly, for at-home treatments, products like silicone gel sheets or creams can help soften raised scars over time. And for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, here are some treatment options. First, for topical treatments, there is hydroquinone, which is a topical bleaching agent that inhibits melanin production in the skin to lighten dark spots, and it can be prescribed in higher concentrations. Also, topical retinoids like tretinoin and adapalene can promote skin cell turnover to help fade dark spots over time. And certain acidic products like vitamin C, kojic acid, and azelaic acid can help brighten the skin and fade dark spots or uneven skin tone over time. Then, there are clinical procedures procedures, including chemical pills, microdermabrasion, and laser treatments such as fractional laser and IPL. They can all help reduce hyperpigmentation. As you can see, there's so many treatment options for post-acne marks, and it can not only be overwhelming, but also costly to experiment with different products and procedures to find out what's most effective for you. Although I can't say what will be the best option for your skin, after many trials, I could finally narrow down some great products that were effective on fading my post-acne marks at home. And for bonus, they don't require any prescription. Now, let me break down these products based on different parts of my skincare routine. First, cleansing. For daily cleansing, my staple product is CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. It has salicylic acid, which helps gently exfoliate your skin. It also has hyaluronic acid and ceramides, which are both great for hydration, skin barrier repair, anti-aging, and soothing your skin. So I've been using this every morning and evening for the last three years and haven't experienced any irritation and seems to help with gentle exfoliation without drying my skin. For proper exfoliation, I recently introduced this exfoliating powder from Dermalogica into my skincare routine, and I found it much more effective in exfoliation. It comes as this white powder, which I can pour over on my palm during shower, soak it with a bit of water before rubbing it until it becomes foamy, and gently massage it over my face. And after about 30 seconds, I rinse my face with water, and the next morning, 
my skin feels super smooth and polished, which helps in my skin absorption of other products. It also seems to accelerate my skin cell turnover, so I can see my acne marks fading faster. Since I'm already using an exfoliating cleanser, I only use this once every two or three days to avoid over exfoliating my skin. And so far, I've been really loving it. After cleansing, I immediately apply gentle toner on my skin before proceeding to treatment products to make sure I don't lose any moisture. So let's start with products for hyperpigmentation. Here's a list of products that I use on a regular basis. I've been using niacinamide and zinc serum and alpha albutin from The Ordinary, which help brighten my skin and lighten the uneven skin tone caused by acne. And I think these are both safe alternatives to hydroquinine because they're gentle on skin and compatible with other skincare ingredients, and also they don't require any prescription. So I think they're perfect staple products for overall brightening and evening of skin tone. I've been also incorporating number no. 5 plus vitamin concentration serum and niacinamide concentrated toner pad from Numbuzin if I feel the need for even more nourishing and brightening. The serum has multivitamins, including niacinamide and alpha-albutin, which are all helpful for brightening and hyperpigmentation. It also has glutathione, which is a powerful antioxidant, so it's great for preventing inflammation. I especially love this niacinamide and glutathione toner pad, which has been a great alternative for a facial mask for me. The pad has a cotton gauze side with some texture and smooth jelly on the other side, so every few days a week, I use a couple sheets on my cheek, forehead, and nose after applying all the serum and before applying any lotion and cream so I can really lock in moisture and all the ingredients I applied beforehand. And the next morning, I can definitely tell the difference in my skin tone and glow. Also, I use Dark Spot Correcting Serum from Differin with 4% niacinamide as a spot treatment. I apply this on more stubborn dark spots with Q-tips after applying other serums and before heavier cream. And I let it dry a bit before applying applying moisturizers. For acne scars and textures, I use other specific products to improve the conditions, and here's a list of products I'm going to talk about. First, I use L'Oreal Revitalift Pure Retinol Night Serum in the evening, and the purpose is to enhance skin cell turnover and stimulate collagen production, which is essential for repairing damaged skin tissue. It has 0.3 pure retinol, which is pretty high potency, but it's also formulated with soothing ingredients like hyaluronic acid and glycerin, which seem to make a difference in how well my skin tolerates. When I use other retinol products, my skin always gets super irritated and red, but this seemed to be pretty stable on my skin. When I first introduced it, I used a few drops twice a week, and then I gradually increased frequency over the span of a few weeks, and now I can use it almost every day. I used this after applying all the serum and before applying lotion, but some people prefer to apply this after lotion, so I would just experiment to find out what works the best for your skin. And for scars and textures, microneedling is a great treatment option. I've been using this at-home microneedling treatment product from Banish. This is Banisher 2.0, which is a microneedling stamp, and this one is Banish Serum which is a dark spot correcting serum with vitamin C and E. And I also got this fighter gel, which is breakout calming gel. I've been using Banisher stamps for three weeks, once a week as recommended, and I've been seeing noticeable improvements on textures and dark spots from acne. What I like about using this product compared to getting in-office clinical treatments is simplicity. For in-office treatments, I would need to book an appointment ahead of time, which means my skin may not always be in an optimal state on the day of my treatment. I may have several active acne or open wounds from post acne and you're not supposed to do this treatment in such cases but when i do this at home i can easily pick days when i have optimal skin conditions and even if i have some active acne or open wound i can use my judgment to just stamp around those areas to avoid damaging those skin tissues also the needle length is fixed to 0.5 millimeter which is just deep enough to promote collagen production while exfoliating the skin and enhancing product penetration so you don't really need to numb your skin with numbing creams to ease the pain because the pain from this stamp is barely noticeable. The other thing I like about this is minimum downtime. When I got this treatment at a clinic before, my downtime was quite long. The redness and blood marks lasted about 3 days and then after that, it triggered more acne from deeper layer of my skin. So I continuously had active acne for about 2 weeks and after that, I had to deal with acne marks from the treatment for another few weeks. They did prescribe me with doxycycline to suppress breakout after the treatment 
treatment, but I still got noticeably more acne than before the treatment. But when I used Banisher, my downtime was much shorter. My redness completely subsided only after a day, and I barely had any new breakout from this treatment. And I think it's because the length of this needle is much shorter and significantly thinner than a professional microneedle, so the irritation on skin was inevitably going to be minimal. The third thing I like about this is the price. The price for clinical treatment is anywhere between $300 to $400 for a single session, but the cost of the Banish kit for a single session will be around $10 to $12 because you can use this for 8 sessions, so while the results may not be as dramatic as clinical treatment, it's still much more affordable and sustainable for us to get this treatment regularly at home. And here's how I've been using this. Before the treatment, I would prep the Banisher stamp by dipping it in 70 to 90% rubbing alcohol to sanitize the needle by filling the cap that comes with it. After about 5 minutes, I would take it out and then dry it completely. And in the meantime, I would take a shower or wash my face. And after shower on my clean face, I would use an alcohol wipe to gently sanitize my skin. Then, I would stamp Banisher on my skin 3 to 5 times per area, rotating it each time to get an even distribution of penetration and move on to the next area. It's important to avoid any area with acne, unhealed wounds, or rashes. And also, never rotate the stem while it's touching the skin because it can damage skin tissue. Once I'm done, I would use CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion that contains hyaluronic acid and three types of ceramide that help protect skin barrier. You can use other soothing serum or moisturizer that contain hyaluronic acid and vitamin A ingredients. But immediately after microneedling, it's not recommended to use any product with harsh chemicals that are meant to exfoliate your skin, such as glycolic acid, alpha hydroxy acids, and retinols. Then, I would clean Banisher again with new alcohol, air dry it, and put the cap back on for storage. The next morning, I might still have some pink tone around the treatment area, but it would be much lighter from the previous night, and this usually disappears by the end of that day, and my skin would feel much smoother and plump. For me, it was hard to tell whether my scars and dark spots faded overnight, but after a few days, I could tell that those dark spots started to fading, and textures and fine lines getting lighter and smoother over the course of 3 weeks since I started this treatment. And from the third day, I would start integrating this Banish Serum to help fading acne marks. This Banish Serum is made of vegetable glycerin and 100% L-ascorbic acid that help reduce acne scars, dark spots, and fine lines. And natural vitamin E protects skin from losing moisture and helps heal skin damage. So this is a perfect combination product for post microneedling. And when my skin started getting some active acne, I incorporated this fighter gel which is meant to fight inflammation without disrupting the skin barrier. When I first applied it, I was really surprised by how refreshing and cooling it was on my skin, and it definitely felt very very fresh. And for me, it clearly helped suppress redness and formation of new breakouts while speeding healing of other recent acne marks. So it was such a great addition to my skincare routine. Now let's talk about moisturizing. While using products like serums and vitamins are helpful to reduce acne marks, moisturizing your skin is so essential for fading acne marks as well. Moisturizers help to replenish and maintain the skin's moisture levels to prevent dryness and dehydration. It also supports the function of the skin barrier, which is crucial for protecting the skin from external environmental factors such as pollutants and UV radiation. It can also help improve skin texture and appearance, enhancing skincare product efficacy and relieving skin conditions. While I like to occasionally experiment with various serums and lotions, for moisturizing, I always use these two products as my staples. First one is CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I've been using this for over 5 years now, and there's a reason for that. It's oil and fragrance free, and also contains hyaluronic acid and ceramides that are helpful for restoring skin barrier. It also effectively moisturizes my skin. I never get any trouble from using this product, and it's also super lightweight, making it easy to combine with other skincare products. My second moisturizer is Mibak Sika Cream, which I've been using for the past two years. I use this after therapy lotion because it's slightly thicker than that and it's super nourishing on my skin and it keeps all the hydration and glow from other products intact. And it's because there are ingredients like Sika, which is well known to heal irritated skin by rebuilding the skin barrier. It also has retinol, peptide 8 complexes that are all helpful for reducing wrinkles and improving skin elasticity. I've tried many other moisturizers before and these two are by far the best moisturizing lotion for 
for me because they're very stable on my sensitive skin, hydrating, and reasonably priced, so I never hesitate to restock them every time they run out. The last step of my skincare is protection. You're probably familiar with the importance of applying sunscreen with minimum SPF 30 before you go outside. And it's particularly crucial for skin with post-acne marks because sun exposure can darken and worsen the appearance of post-acne marks. Sunscreen basically forms a barrier that shields your skin from harmful UV rays that stimulate the production of melanin in the skin, which can lead to hyperpigmentation. So wearing sunscreen helps to prevent this excess melanin production while protecting your delicate skin affected by acne scars from further damage so it can heal properly. The one that I've been using for over a year now is Differing Oil Absorbing Moisturizer with SPF 30 sunscreen. The reason why I love this is because it doesn't leave any white cast on my skin so I can comfortably layer my makeup. Also, I don't vibe very well with products that contain oil. So the fact that this is an oil absorbing product is a bonus. If you know you're going to stay out in the sun for a long time, then I probably wouldn't recommend this. But for daily use, when you're just going to work or school, I think this can be a perfect sunscreen. I know it takes quite a lot of effort to fade post-acne marks because they tend to be more persistent and take longer to treat. But if you incorporate these tips and products I mentioned, I think you'll be able to see visible results. I'm also planning to make my acne skincare routine video, so I'll link it here once I'm done. And if this video was useful to you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.